must be a rational answer for all of this. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail Into Reaction. What I'm looking at today is the trailer for A Haunting in Venice, which is the third Poirot film directed by Kenneth Branagh. And I have to say, I didn't like the prior two all that much. That was Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. And the reason being, Kenneth Branagh looks nothing like Abaca Christie's depictions of Hercule Poirot. And even taking that into account, it doesn't feel right. Because in the past, Hercule Poirot has been played by Peter Ustinov and David Suchet. Peter Ustinov did not look like Poirot either, but Peter Ustinov felt like Poirot. If you've read Agatha Christie's books that feature Poirot, you probably know that he's a fairly petty person. He's brilliant, but he's also petty and at times unkind. He has a remarkable mind, but he is not as well versed in certain niceties that people just tend to give each other. So Peter Ustinov does not much resemble Hercule Poirot, but he had the feel for Poirot down. David Suchet is Agatha Christie's Poirot. He looks exactly like Poirot was depicted in the books. And he is, by my reckoning, the perfect Poirot. He brings together the acting chops with the physical appearance. Kenneth Branagh's Poirot neither looks like him or acts like him. And I think it was in Death on the Nile where they imply that Poirot acts as he does because he's somewhere on the autism spectrum. Now see, the thing is, that could be possible. Poirot actually does seem to act like that. But I don't think that's the case. And that's a modern prescription to how Poirot acts. But for my reckoning, I was perfectly satisfied with him being a douchebag. In fact, I thought it made his character even more interesting that the fact that he just held people in contempt for the most part. That worked for the character. To have that be due more to a medical condition is, I think, not only silly, but it undermines the character. I hate it so much. In any case, let's look at Kenneth Branagh as Hercule Poirot in A Haunting in Venice. And by the way, I'm also not familiar with which book A Haunting in Venice is based on. It sounds like to me, and I could be entirely wrong, it could be based on an Agatha Christie book, but I'm getting a strange feeling that they're playing on the whole enthusiasm for horror films revolving around hauntings. And if they're doing that, that would be so sad because Agatha Christie is probably among the most prolific writers, period. Never mind genre, she wrote a lot of books. In any case, let's take a look at that trailer. Hercule Poirot, I found something. I've looked at it from every which way. I am the smartest person I ever met, and I can't figure it out, so I came to the second. Most humble, too. You are up to something, my friend. I've seen a million of these so-called psychics, each one a fake. I do not believe in psychics. Come with me to a seance. Spot the con I can't. Detective, you are here to discredit me, but I can talk to the dead. I have to hear my daughter's voice. If someone wants to be heard, we are here. Listening. Mom? Felicia? What is happening? There. Somebody is dead. No one shall leave this place until I know who did it. A ghost killed her. There must be our 
I should not answer for all of this. Just admit that you are up against something bigger than you. You were saying... Something in this house tried to kill me. Oh. Don't look at me like I'm suspect. We're old friends. Every murderer is somebody's old friend. No one shall leave until I find if the living have been killed by the dead. You have been hiding here all this time. Who are you talking to? Well, that was a trailer for A Haunting in Venice, and on the face of it, I'm not at all crazy about it. Now keep in mind, that's just a trailer. That doesn't necessarily indicate what the movie is going to give us, but just the same. I don't like the idea of mixing Ocho Praro with the supernatural. Now ideally, this is all fake, but Agatha Christie has never done that in any of her books, and I hope they're not going to do it in that movie. So, what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail into Reaction. If you agree, disagree, let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.